Good morning, Riders. I'm Max. And I'm Darius. Today is December 1st, 2023. Did you know that this month is Indigenous Heritage Month? Our vet students had our very own Nape Nanako tribe member come and visit our classroom last year. Here's her story. The thing that I'd like to let you know is that we were here first and we are still here. We would like people to honor the treaties for our land, our water, and our people. It's important. I will tell you that I've known that I was a Native American ever since I knew anything. My name is Lynn Dyer, and I'm a member of the Nanako Lenni Lenape tribe of Delaware. We are a matrilineal society. That means whatever your grandmother is, as far as the tribe she belongs to, that's what you are. I wear my grandmother's wedding band whenever I do anything for Native American heritage, whenever I do anything that involves our family because it's my connection with, with my ancestors. It's important to let our, our next seven generations know what the previous generations did, how, how they farmed, how they survived, um, how they made the regalia. Regalia is what I'm wearing. I want everyone to know that regalia is not a costume. A costume is when you're trying to be something that you're not. I'm here to tell you that I am Native American and this is my regalia. We make our own regalia. You want to get one that demonstrates who you are. I feel honored to be able to share my culture with my grandchildren. You'll also see the color red. Red is very significant with Native Americans. We believe that the color red transcends this plane and it allows our, our souls to, to speak with our ancestors. We believe that our ancestors can find us from the spirit realm down on earth by our hair. And we wear, um, these are minks, otters, or ermine so that they can see us a little bit better. When we were colonized, our hair was chopped off because um, the colonizers knew that our hair meant so much to us so that they would chop it off. I am the first generation of my grandmother, great-grandmother, to ever participate in a powwow. My grandmother would take me to powwows, but she told me ever since I was a child, shh, Never let anybody know that you're an Indian. The reason being, she was saving our lives. Our people were killed. Our people were beaten. Our people were taken from their families just because we're Native American. Our language has been lost. But I'm proud to say that my cousin and a few members of our tribe are working on a book to restore our language and it's teaching us words. It's teaching us how to use those words. I was brought up in the culture, but never told that that was the culture. That was the safest way for my grandmother to rear me. So doing something like this today means more to me than you guys would ever know. Everything that we went through, we need to, we need to be able to celebrate because we know where we came from and we want to propel that even further in the future. We are always willing to share our heritage. And I think with any people, if you ask, usually people are more than happy to share with you um, about their culture, about their, about their regalia, about their, their beadwork, about why or how they traverse life the way they do. And if you ask, it'll be granted to you. And now here's our segments for the week. Good morning, riders. I'm Garrett with Garrett's Grub. Here's going to be the lunch menu for the week. Monday, we're going to be having chili cheese nachos or layered bean dip with Tostitos, Texas beans, and baby carrots. Tuesday, we're going to be having chicken and waffles with chicken tenders with waffles and tater tots and steamed broccoli. Wednesday, we're going to be having tangerine chicken with rice and roll with green beans and steamed carrots. Thursday, we're going to be having buffalo chicken mac and cheese with roll, steamed tomatoes, and steamed peas. And Friday, we're gonna be having mozzarella sticks with marinara sauce, spicy waffle fries, and steamed corn. 
I'm Garrett with Garrett Scrub. Have a great rest of your week and go Riders. Hi, welcome to Cold Sky Report with me, Cole Beaver. Nice and sunny, but very cold, 29 degrees currently. Hurts my fingers really bad. But as we go into this weekend and through at least Wednesday next week, showers and thunderstorms will be a common theme. Temps in the upper 50s to the lower 60s. And we're gonna be in a very active pattern with constant low pressure systems and cold fronts coming through. And get really cold and then up and warm, cold to warm will be a constant theme. I am Cole Beaver, see you next week. And we're live. What am I even doing here? Like, I don't play sports. <coughs> What's up, riders, and welcome to Rider Sports. I'm your host, Nate. Oh, I'm your host, Jaden. Our unified boys are in the DIAA state championship against New York after beating Apo and William Spin. <sighs> That's it for this week, all winter. Sports games start in November. Huh? <laughs> I, I mean, December. They all start in December. Good morning, riders, and welcome back to Quotes and Meaning with Ben. Today's episode is dedicated to Ian McLaren, and his quote reads, Be kind, for everyone you meet is fighting a hard battle. Always show kindness to everyone around you, as you never know what other people are going through. That's all for today's episode. I'm Ben Daniel, and go Riders. Thanks for watching. I'm Max. And I'm Darius. And go, go Riders. riders.